Hello again. Double Talk 73 here. Let's get a little more light on the subject. <laughs> uh, what we're going to try this time is I'm going to show you again how to catch uh, clear musky with bobbers. Okay, so where we're at, let's, let's see, let's do it all this way. We are in St. Croix, Michigan. We want a sunny morning. And the foggier, the better. So where we're going to land is at Sandy Cape. And what we're going to be using, we want to use our Brutus 9 foot 10 Thunderspin 4500 reel, Flora O22 line. All three of those rated at 35 pounds. We're going to use a glowing pear shaped float. I kind of like that one. It's a good casting business. We're going to use a 7 aught hook and large minnows. We're going to use a default leader. I haven't been able to tell whether it makes any difference whether you use a default leader or shorten it up or lengthen it up or or whatever but that's that's what we're going to use okay land is salty so I'm sandy salty sandy go to the left nice foggy morning go past the little little dock here and go over to our the, by this big rock and over to the patch next patch of reeds Okay, right in here okay now if you look over here in the background you see a orange two little orange trees okay and what we're going to do is cast towards that one right there which is just to the right of those just barely to the right of the edge of those tall Carolina trees and we want to be a hundred feet out okay That's a little overcast. And we want to be at 5 a.m., like I say, on a sunny morning. Now, see how lucky we get. Now, I know this is it. Whoa, what's going on here now? Ah, now I remember. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> the leader does make a difference. See? Okay, we want it set at 47 inches. There we go. Can't get anything but laying on the bottom, can we? Not likely. Okay, let's try again. Vertical bobber. There we go. Ding. Okay. I also, what I like to do is there's a dark bush or I like to put my the bottom of my bobber the water level over there it's a video game ones and zeros might help might not help I'm just something I like to do if you do the same thing over and over and over you should get approximately the same results. Good Lord willing. And I haven't been able to tell whether the water temperature makes any significant difference or not. Unlike the length of the leader. So let's see what we got here. Come on. Come on, fish. Goodbye. Now usually there is a progression of what you catch here you'll catch on on any given morning you'll catch two regulars one trophy and one uni that's usually what I catch I have caught two uni before two trophies usually when I catch two trophies I don't catch a uni this is this is one of them hard fighting fish so don't tell them whether it's a trophy or a uni it's a nice sized fish We'll find out shortly. Did 
it is a trophy. Okay, we'll keep that one. 100 feet. See that dark patch over there? That's where I like to put bobber jets on the end of it. Or the bottom of the bobber touching water. And just wait, let the minnow do its job. If you like my video, please hit that subscribe button. And if uh, if you'd like to be notified when I put up more videos hit that bell button over there as well should be to my left <laughs> I think <sighs> come on big bopper let's go sometimes the trophies fight harder than the unis which is kind of funny, but that's just the way it is. My big old puppy just come in and say hello. Hundred twenty pound lovey dovey, Great Pyrenees. Looks like the minnow's doing a good job. It's running around back and forth. Haven't had a ding in a while. If I don't get a ding in another couple minutes, I'll reel in and reset. Yeah, my baby. You my baby. Yeah. He's not a licker, he's just a smeller. But he likes that attention. Man, he's been sleeping. Okay, let's reset. I don't know why, but sometimes it makes a little difference. Okay, now I'll reach out there and smack them in the head and put them on the hook. I also recommend that if you cast out, and if you get lucky enough to cast right at 100, 102 feet, uh, I suggest putting you a marker buoy. When you catch your first uni, that makes it a little bit easier to catch it next time. And at the top of the marker, where it says mark, if you'll put your cursor up there and click on it, and in the backspace, you can write hook size, leader length, distance casts out. Uh, on the mark itself, <clears throat> it says early morning, but it doesn't say what time. It's 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. for clear unis. So, uh, but I got a trophy, so now let's get us a let's get us a uni. Uni next to be nice. Let's see what we got here. Whatever it was, it took off. It ran 15 feet in a hurry. It's still running. Wow. Good fight. If it's not a uni, it's another big trophy. Which means if it's another big trophy, chances are this this peak we wanna won't get a uni, but we'll find out I guess. 
You can do everything but put them on the hook yourself. <laughs> Come on, man. Work, rod, work. This works good with bottom rods, too, in your rod stand. You catch them at the same distance, 100 feet out. Same setup, bottom rod, 7 odd hook. Large minnow. Wow, this is this is fighting hard. This might be our uni. Be nice with another seventy pounder. Ooh, that would be great. I've only got one. The whole time I've been fishing, and I still don't have my ninety pound plus blue catfish, but I still try. That's all we can do. If you got your hook and your bait in the water, you never know. When you get high enough level where you can get bottom rods, uh, the fish come in a little bit easier with the bottom rod because you got to have your have your rig. Stronger rod, stronger reel, stronger line. But this is for people who haven't reached those levels yet. This is for the people that can get this rig, 35 pound mass rig, and do this. You just have to fight the fish. I'm getting closer. A lot of splash, a lot of splash. Come on. There you go. And there you go. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not huge, but it's decent. But that's that's the way you catch a clear uni with uh, with bobbers. Okay. Let's see what it looks like in picture mode. Nice fish. Nice fish. Take a picture. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe and that bell, whichever side it's on, so you get notified when I put up any more videos. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope it helps. That's, that's what I'm here for. No ads on my videos. I like that. That's okay. Not here to make money, just here to have fun and help. So, uh, this is Double Talk 7 saying uh, tight lines, good luck. God bless you and your family. Uh, if you see me out in the game and you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll try to do whatever I can to help. Uh, any comment would be greatly appreciated. Positive or negative, uh, I try to respond to them. That's about it. So, uh, I'll catch you out here later. Y'all come back now, you hear?